Hi! Hi, you're here. Whoa, whoa, Sid, are you drilling a hole in the hull? Oh, oh no, it's fine. This is for an experiment. It's an inside wall. <laughs> okay, as long as you know what you're doing. Let's not have a repeat of last time, okay? Well, no, let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Hayu Martin. And I'm Sid Stone. On August 30th, flight controllers back on Earth noticed a leak up here. It wasn't immediately bad, so we slept in. Not the easiest night, but uh, I mean, the, the station's always leaking a little bit. Just, this wasn't exactly insignificant. Now, Sid and I are lazy bums, so we slept in, but the other astronauts had to deal with the problem. They went around the station and kept closing hatches until they found the leak. Yeah, then they used an ultrasonic leak detector in order to find out exactly where it was. They found a two millimeter hole in the wall of the Soyuz spacecraft. Now it's in the wall of the orbital module, not the descent module. So this is the spacecraft they used to get back to Earth, but thankfully it wasn't in the part that is critical for them to survive. When we looked at it, it was clearly a drilled hole. There were drill marks all over the place, so it clearly was not orbital debris. Alex Gerst, a German astronaut, came up with the amazing solution of stopping the, the leak with his finger which I imagine wasn't too comfortable, but that seemed to do most of the work. Now, if you want to see how it's possible to stop a leak with your finger, uh, you should go see Cody's Lab's videos. It's a really good video. I'll leave a link in the description. We put some tape over the hole so he didn't, didn't have to have his finger there. <laughs> but it was still leaking, like there were these two layers of metal inside the hole that weren't sealed against each other, so some air was still leaking out through there. So, with that amount of leak, we only have air for about 18 days. Moscow Control is telling us to patch up the hole with a two-part epoxy sealant kit. Uh, we asked the ground if they knew if it had any expanding properties so it could expand into the hole, but they had no idea. Houston and Drew, the commander, said we should probably go with the temporary solution first, because if the sealant didn't work, we'd have to drill it out of the wall. And I don't think anyone wants to take a drill to the wall of the space station anytime soon. Next we got in contact with the director of the company that designs the Soyuz and we talked to him for a bit. Over in Houston, the temporary solution they were working on for us was to get a rubber thing and form it into like a plug shape to plug the hole. Now because the Soyuz is a spacecraft, it has its own commander, Sergei. So technically he was in charge. Because he's a Russian cosmonaut, Moscow is instructing him to go ahead with the permanent sealant solution, but he was more willing to go with the temporary solution offered by the commander in Houston. And uh, I don't think Moscow liked that so much. It was afternoon by this point, so the flight controllers let us take a break and eat lunch while they talked things over. I think uh, they were arguing quite a bunch. After lunch, we decided to go with Houston's solution. Yeah, and the rubber plug worked perfectly. That stopped the leak. Uh, so we felt it was safe at that point to cover it up with the more permanent sealant and put a big patch over it. Not the prettiest, but it got the job done. So now we have to figure out who on the ground went ahead and took a drill to the wall. It seemed that they drilled the wall, but then they figured out that they made a mistake. So then they put glue over the hole, but then the glue got sucked out. Now this should have been picked up by inspections. So it might have happened during the testing phase after it had been sent to the launch pad. We hope it wasn't sabotaged, but who knows? Yeah, once Russia figures out who did it, Boy, I wouldn't want to be that guy. <laughs> the pressure is stable now, so we can get back to work as usual. Yeah, we'll let Earth worry about that problem for us. Anyway, that Soyuz spacecraft is super reliable. Yeah, they've been flying it for 50 years. It's on its final, most modern version now. But very soon, it won't be the only way to get people to space. They're about to start flying the new rides to the ISS, SpaceX's Crew Dragon and Boeing's Starliner capsules. Yeah, they just announced the names of the astronauts just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, Everyday Astronaut on YouTube got super close and personal with these, so I highly recommend you go check out those videos. That spacecraft is so cool. The Russian cosmonauts will be able to fly on these spacecraft too, which is equally cool. Yeah, and after these, the next human-rated spacecraft will be SpaceX's BFR, but that's a whole other beast and requires its own video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check out my Twitter and my Patreon. I'm Hayu. And I'm Sid Stoke. Bye! Bye!